Okay, so this is the week three of the uh, progress report. And uh, so this is the first progress report I'm doing. Um, so basically, I'm just going to walk through what I've done this week. Uh, so majority of the time of this week, I spent a lot of time learning about how to build the web application using Spring Boot in Java. So, so first of all, I learned learn about the Spring basic Spring concept, like inverted control and dependency rejection. Then I learned about the Urbanit, which is an objective relation mapping, allow the application to connect to the database. And the next is Spring Boot, which is a layer built on top of Spring allows Rabbit a building of application without uh, cutting and cleaning up with the configurations. Uh, so to, to, to get started with my, my project, I built the employee portal prototype. So in this prototype, I would have the employee entity class represents the, our, the, uh, the table object, and we'll communicate with the data access object. And the data, the data access object is a layer sits between the uh, the model, the employee, and the database. And I'll just quickly show my code here. So I'm using Eclipse, uh, using IntelliJ for the IDE. Uh, so I'll show quickly show the show the employee entity. Employee entity, you can see, contains several fields uh, like employee ID, first name, last name, email, and uh, office. And uh, basically, the employee ID contains all the getter and setters and the constructors. Uh, and the next one, I, want, I would like to showcase the uh, the, the uh, object model layer, which is the basically the layer sits between the database and the entity. So it's in this file implementation. So you can see basically this function runs the query um, to request the query from the database to show all the employee. Uh, in the database. So this will return a list of employees. And the uh, next one is fund by ID. So this would return a specific employee based on the ID. So the next file I would like to showcase is just the, the REST API controller. So the REST API controller I want to talk about this week is uh, basically you have a uh, API get request to the mapping of the employee. And the, this will return a list of all employees. And you have a uh, get, get mapping to employee and employee ID and return the specific employee. So I'll just quickly showcase the uh, the application demo. So so say if we go to a URL, let's see. So here is the application URL, and if we type in employee in the URL, this would return a several uh, will turn a JSON file of containing all the employee information. So you see all three employees are here. These are the symbol data I published pr uh, prior to the database. And we type a specific employee, for example, like one, then the first employee will return. Okay, I think that that's good for this week. Uh, thanks for listening.